hey guys welcome back to my channel so guys today on how we cooking time i'll be making some nice jamaican brown stew pork so if you want to see how i make this delicious pot of jamaican brown stew pork stay tuned and let's get straight into the video so guys in my bowl i have three pounds of pork this has been cleaned with lime vinegar and water so now the pork is ready to be seasoned so first going in with half teaspoon of black pepper, then going in with two tablespoons of Maggi all-purpose seasoning. So guys, you can use any of your favorite pork season to season your meat. Now going in with half teaspoon of garlic powder and half tablespoon of my bulk all-purpose seasoning so this has some pimento berries in there as well so yes guys use any season of your choice now going in with one teaspoon of chili flakes and one teaspoon of dry thyme leaves so you want to add all that goodness into the bowl so going in with the onion and scallion then going in with one teaspoon of minced garlic Now going in with some scotch bunny peppers, one teaspoon of crushed ginger, and some bell peppers. Now adding half to one teaspoon of browning. So if you don't want your meat to be too dark, then you can use less browning if you wish, right? After that, going in with two tablespoons of my green seasoning. So now that all the seasons are in the bowl, it's time to rub everything together and get this pork nicely seasoned. Okay guys, so the pork is nicely seasoned. So now it's time to place this in the refrigerator so you can allow it to marinate. So ideally, you want to allow it to marinate overnight, but if you want it within the same day, then you can allow it to marinate for two to three hours in the refrigerator. So you want to cover it and place it in the refrigerator, guys. So guys, this is how it looks after three hours. So I have taken out the meat from the fridge. So now I will separate the meat from some of the seasons like the bell peppers and scallion. Then later in the cooking process, I will add the remaining seasons. So guys, to the pot I added a little oil, so after the oil gets hot, I went in with the pork. So I don't want to overcrowd the pot, so I add the meat in batches. So I will allow this to brown for 2-3 to three minutes on each side. So guys, once you get that nice brown color on each side, you're going to turn them over to the other side and allow that side to get brown as well. So I want to sear the meat to seal in the meat juices, right? Okay guys, so now that all the meat pieces are nice and brown, it's time to add the batch that I did first and then I will cover this for 10 minutes to allow it to produce its own juices before I add any water to it. Okay guys, so after 10 minutes, this is how it looks. So now I will add 2-3 to three cups of water. So I want to add enough water to cover the meat to allow it to cook properly, right? So just giving it a quick stir, then I will cover this for 30 minutes to allow the meat to cook. So 
okay guys so after 30 minutes this is how the cork is looking so as you can see some of the liquid has reduced so now i'm combining everything to ensure that the meat is cooked evenly right now guys i'm checking to see how tender the meat is so that i can know how much water to add afterwards so guys as you can see the meat is not cooked as yet so now i will go in with two to three cups of water then i will cover the pot for 45 minutes to allow the meat to get tender so guys this is how it looks after the 45 minutes has passed so now i'm combining everything then i will check to see how tender the meat is So guys, as you can see, the meat is falling apart easily, so it is tender. So now it's time for me to go in with my remaining seasons. So going in with the seasons that I used to season the pork, and also going to use a little bit of water to rinse out that bowl and pour that into the pot, right? So guys, I have one potato dice and I cut up one carrot and I also have a whole scotch bonnet pepper. So now adding the potato and the carrots to the pot, then going in with some water to cover the potatoes after that going in with some ketchup then one tablespoon of maggie all-purpose seasoning to add some flavor to the liquid now adding some salt now add in the scotch bonnet pepper so now i will cover the pot to allow the potatoes to cook and the liquid to reduce to a rich gravy consistency so guys with the potatoes now it acts as a natural thickener so i don't need any corn starch to thicken the gravy so guys there you have it our stew pork is nicely done it is all ready so let me remove the scotch bonnet pepper now because i don't want it to burst so let me check on how tender the potato is so guys as you can see the potato is nice and tender and the meat is cooked all the way through that nice white color it is showing that it is cooked so yes guys thank you so much for watching if you like this recipe please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done that already so guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video